Hi there, my, my name is Carl Weston. I'm the director of golf at uh, Hampton Court Palace Golf Club. Uh, over the next th few weeks, I'm going to be discussing different golfing techniques. The sun's out shining at the moment, so it's an ideal opportunity to get out on the golf course and start to improve your golf. This week, we're going to look at the most effective way to how to chip the golf ball. There's various different techniques. Some people like to fly the golf ball up into the air and try and stop the golf ball as quickly as possible. Other people like to run the golf ball up to the green. I'm going to get Ollie Turnbull in now and we're going to have a discussion how he likes to play this particular golf shot. Made a couple of golf shots there, and two two things happened really. The first one, you ended up uh, chunking the golf ball slightly, so the golf ball just moved forward. The second one was slightly on the thin, the thin side. We've got a different shot for you now, and we're going to play a chip and run golf shot. So I'm going to demonstrate the technique, and then I want you to try and implement this. Yep. So you were previously playing a lofted golf club. It was a, it was a lob wedge. Yep. I want us to look at actually playing an eight iron shot. So it's got a very, very different characteristic, slightly flatter club face. What we're going to look at is changing the setup predominantly, first of all. So the ball position is going to be a lot further back in your stance, so opposite your right foot. To gain maximum control of the golf club, you've got to grip almost down by the metal or graphite shaft. The weight distribution is going to be slightly more towards your left foot and the relationship between the left forearm and club shaft is very very much parallel okay so once you're in this nice solid setup it's time to produce a good golf swing the key focus here is keeping the backswing relatively short and having an element of acceleration through the points of impact whilst holding this nice angle that you've created at static position. Let's see how this goes. So what tends to happen from that particular golf shot, it's a lot more consistent. It's going to be a, a lower ball flight, but it's going to start to run on. So Ollie, do you think you can uh, replicate yep. that? Okay, so that's, uh, that's a good golf shot that just did that. Left himself uh, six foot up the park. 